everyone, welcome to another project tour. Today, I'm gonna to be touring you through one of our most recently completed restaurant projects. This is Haven Kitchen and Bar over in Langley. If you're from the Vancouver area, you've probably heard about Haven because this is one of Langley's most talked about restaurants and it's about time that we talk about it here on our YouTube channel. Haven is a two level 3,500 square foot restaurant and during the design phases, it was planned to have 180 seats, both downstairs, upstairs on the mezzanine and outside on the patio. And ever since they've been open, it has been super, super busy. At House of On, we really love collaborating with our clients. And so it's a lot of fun when we get a client that is very creative and that has a strong vision. With Haven Kitchen and Bar, this was definitely the case. When this project first came to House of On, the name Haven was inspired by a secret hiding place. And the concept was to design a restaurant that was very eclectic, that's really fun, that almost has a little bit of an Alice in Wonderland feel. Whenever you are in this restaurant and no matter where you are, there's always something really unique and interesting to look at. This restaurant was designed with mixed materials, an unusual palette. It's almost difficult to describe because there's a little bit of tiki bar vibes, there's a little bit of Alice in Wonderland, a little bit of bringing the outdoors inside. It's a very whimsical space. And you'll see as we walk through this restaurant just how interesting and unique the design really is. of this concept is an incredible cocktail program and Haven has some amazing drinks. In order to showcase that, we needed a pretty badass bar. Let's talk about this bar because the bar is definitely one of the biggest focal points in the restaurant. Something that was really unique about the space is that it's got these really high ceilings, over 20 feet high. That's a unique feature that we really wanted to take advantage of. And because of the cocktail program, well, let's design a bar and take advantage of this height. In order to find the best spot for the bar, we really had to expand on where that might be. Maybe it's in the back of the restaurant, the front of the restaurant. And what we actually did was completely turn it to the 180 and have it at the very front of the restaurant. This is probably the tallest bar that the House of Bond team has ever designed. One of the things that I love about the bar are the curves and this unique arch. We've got incredible millwork, a stained oak, an antiqued glass in behind the, all the shelving. The shelves are illuminated and we designed this bar so that the illumination is really at the back of the shelves. What that does is it makes all the shelves glow and all the styling inside the shelves just really glow. It's really mystical and magical and really subtle. When you look at that bar, there's so much to look at. And the styling project alone was a lot of fun and a project all in itself. At the top of the bar, you'll notice a bright pink neon choose your own adventure sign. This is a throwback to those childhood books. You know your choose your own adventure books? Well, in this case, when you're looking through the cocktail menu or the shop menu, it really is a choose your own adventure menu. When we took over the space, it really was just a shell. There was nothing at all. Even though there's really high ceilings and it's a big open volume, we still wanted to create an environment that felt really intimate and really cozy. That was super important for us as the design team. And so we wanted to make sure that the mezzanine was strategically placed and the mezzanine served as a really good area to tuck the kitchen underneath. When you also have really high 
ceiling heights. You don't want to draw a ton of attention to it, but you still want to make it sparkle. And so what we decided to incorporate is really large overscaled lighting. We have these incredible chandeliers that are massive. There's three of them. They are placed completely on center with this really tall bar. And overall, what that does is it sort of fills the space and it makes this volume feel really full, really cozy, and very intimate. The other thing that I love about these chandeliers and the top of the bar is that you can actually see them from the mezzanine. And I think the mezzanine almost has one of the best views in the whole restaurant. When you're sitting upstairs, you can see the bar, you can see the restaurant, you can see out to the patio, you get a really great sight line. And that was something we wanted to continue throughout the entire space plan. No matter where you're sitting in the restaurant, you have a premier seat. And that's really important to us as designers. We never want you to walk into a restaurant space and feel like you're just tucked in the corner or you kind of just got the last little table left over. Every table needs to feel special. Every table needs to feel exciting. And if you frequent this place, every time you sit at a different spot, you get to experience a new adventure. So speaking of every table being a special table in the space, it's really hard for me to actually pick out what my favorite seating area is because I love all the different areas for different reasons. One area that I really love are our two top sort of date night booths. They flank and are on the opposite wall of where the kitchen is. There's three booths in total and what I love about this area is that it's cozy, it's a little bit more intimate, it's dark, and you can only seat up two people at these booths. If you were out on a date, if you're with a girlfriend or wherever you need to be, if you're just on your laptop and you wanna be a little bit separated from the restaurant or in this small little intimate area, you kind of have this breakout space where you can just be there, still being a part of the restaurant, but it's just a little smaller, a little more intimate area. These two tops are framed in this incredible cane and black arch. The arch has curved corners. It kind of mimics a little bit what's happening on the bar, but there's some really interesting textures and materials with the caning, the dark painted wood that's in a black color, and then a plaster black wall finish. I mean, that's not something that you see every day. It's definitely dark, it's sexy, it's intimate. And then each one of these tables is is framed with a custom arch mirror, a tiny little pendant light. All of these elements together really emphasizes this idea of mystery, this idea of intimacy, and they really are the perfect date night booths. Completely opposite of the bar is some large booths for bigger parties. You can seat four or five people on these booths and they're raised and a little bit elevated to create a really cozy and intimate lounge area in this big open space. These booths are finished in a teal colored, almost a velvet fabric. It's a fun spot to have a bigger grouping because you're facing the bar, you have one of the best views in these big booths. On the main floor is a collection of communal tables, of four tops, some two tops. We did custom stained oak wood top tables, and then we also did custom chairs. I really love these chairs because they've got a palm pattern on the back of them. Again, we're incorporating a little bit of this teal color, but now you're starting to see a mix of different fabrics and prints throughout the restaurant, and that's really emphasized with these chairs and the seat on the main floor. That whole idea is carried throughout upstairs in the mezzanine. The most challenging part of the design was actually the mezzanine. So because we had so many iterations of what that was gonna be, when we finally, finally landed on that design, it was the most awesome part. I love this mezzanine area because it's got a completely different vibe than the main floor. Now when you walk into the restaurant and you see the wallpaper and the entryway and all the other elements, there is a suggestion that the mezzanine could look like this. But really, when you come upstairs, this feels like its own little world. There's cool William Morris wallpaper on the walls that is just a traditional pattern. You wouldn't normally see this in a really modern restaurant, but it's really playful and layered with a whole bunch of different artwork. 
there's artwork, there's mirrors. It's uplit with an LED strip light right in behind the banquettes. The banquettes are finished in this great teal blue velvet color. It kind of adds to the whole whimsical spirit of this entire restaurant. There's also this sense of intimacy with these basket lights that are hung throughout the space in different heights. There's hanging plants, there's ferns. It almost feels like this really interesting urban jungle. By having a variety of seating, whether it's a cozy booth, a table, or a lounge table, every time a guest comes to Haven, there's an opportunity to have a very different experience from the last. House of Bon, one of the most important things that we're focused on when we're designing a restaurant is the space plan. We want to optimize the space plan for a number of things. If you've got a really good space plan, you're going to impact the guest experience. What are they seeing as soon as they come into the restaurant? How are they moving through the restaurant? How are they getting to the washrooms? Where are they sitting? All of that can really impact a guest experience and you can really optimize that through a space plan. The other thing is staff. There's always a ton of staff. There's server staff, there's people who are cleaning tables. There's a lot of people that are traveling and moving through a restaurant and you want to make sure that you've optimized the plan so that this can be done as efficiently as possible. For that reason, we have only one opening in and out of the bar, two ways that you can get into the kitchen. We really like to design a space so that when you're traveling into the kitchen, you're exiting on a different area and we're considering all of these travel paths as people are going in and out of the kitchen, as people are traveling to the washrooms, as people are going upstairs, you wanna make sure that people aren't bumping into each other and that you're tucking server stations away in strategic places so that they're also not visible by all the customers. You want people who are working in the restaurant to be able to do their job and do it almost as though they're invisible to the customers who are really experiencing this incredible space. So let's talk about the lighting because there's so much interesting lighting throughout this space and at House of Vaughn, lighting is one of the most important elements in design. Everything from the monkey lights that are crawling up the walls by the bar to the backlit shelving in the bar. You've got these really quirky cactus lights that you see in behind the large booths. There's tiny little pendants that are hung over top of the date night tables. And then upstairs, we've illuminated the mezzanine area with some LED lighting behind the banquette. And then there's a variety of basket lights that are hung at different heights throughout the mezzanine. Last but not least, there's also the oversized and overscaled beaded chandeliers in the middle of the room. I mean, all of this together creates such an interesting space. You want to have different light levels and light sources. You really want to have ambient light in a space, not just overhead lighting. And when you have really interesting lighting like this, it just adds to the mood and the atmosphere of a really whimsical restaurant. Don't forget about all the neon lighting that's also there too, like the choose your own adventure sign at the top of the bar and the illuminated H logo that's inside the washroom area. What really makes this restaurant so unique and different is the mixing and matching of patterns. It really is an eclectic space. And I also think that this was achieved through the collaboration with the owners who had lots of ideas themselves. Everywhere you look, there's patterns that you wouldn't normally think go together. Upstairs, we've got the William Morris wallpaper. Downstairs, we've got pattern on the chairs and on the custom furniture. There's pink coral tile on the front of the bar. There's textured wall paneling beside the bar, which is painted in a steel kind of blue color. There's so much to look at. You almost don't know where to look and it's exciting no matter where you are in the restaurant. That also goes for the washrooms.
Now, a design move that was very strategic is when you enter the washrooms, the ceiling is incredibly low. We did this on purpose because when you access the washrooms, you do it right next to the bar. So in contrast to this huge back bar, you walk through a hallway that's very, very, very low. And as you move through this space, you have a different experience because you're in different volumes of spaces. It really feels like you're accessing this little tunnel. It's almost like you're going down the rabbit hole. And this sense of going down the rabbit hole is emphasized by this really quirky wallpaper. If you look closely, you'll probably see a few animals on the walls. I actually had a eureka moment when I found that wallpaper because I felt like it spoke to the design really, really well, spoke to the clients well, and it spoke to House of Bond really well. So finding that was definitely a key part of it. There really is no detail spared or area that hasn't been thought of, including the washrooms. I'm sure for some of you watching this video and getting to see the space, you can tell why Haven has been so well received. They have great cocktails, great food, and this space offers something completely new, different, and unique, especially for Langley. The House of Bond team really had so much fun collaborating with Haven to put together this restaurant. It is such a unique and creative space, and it's not every day that a project like this crosses your desk where you get to be this innovative and playful when it comes to materials and palette and lighting and all these exciting finishes. We'd love to hear from you. What's your favorite part of the restaurant? Make sure you comment down below and let us know. If you wanna see more photos, make sure you head over to houseabon.com. Of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next project tour.